Hi, it's Rich Trani. Thanks for watching Editor's Day Santa Clara. We have on our program today Tim Prendergast. He's with Evident.io. Tim, welcome to the show. Oh, thanks for having me. Really great to be here. So uh, thrilled to have you. Uh, your company is in the AWS space. Uh, you guys uh, do things like uh, automation, security, right? And, Absolutely. And I was hoping you could give me um, a little more information uh, oh, sure. for those people that want to learn more about your company. Oh, yeah. You know, what's really great about us is we're the only security company in the ecosystem that actually started as one of Amazon's biggest customers. So our core founding team came out of Adobe, who had a great breakout cloud success in, in Amazon. We took a lot that we learned there about accelerating our workloads through DevOps practices and principles and adding security to that mix. And we thought that was something that was a great uh, pattern and behavior for all the customers in the cloud to actually take care of and leverage. So we uh, decided to depart and we started an organization that was focused on a couple of core principles. One, having a totally open API and data model. So organizations that are embracing security at high velocities in the cloud can take the data and take action on it, not just log into a console and look at it, but really extract security incident and issue data out and put it where they can operationalize it. So that means take your alerts and your data and feed it into things like PagerDuty so your on-call engineers can actually react to it really quickly. You can feed it into technologies like Splunk, Slack, and, and other places where your operations teams and engineers really live and work and, and think, as opposed to sending it to a security team that may not be as in touch with your cloud environment as the people who are actually managing it on a day-to-day -day basis. Very exciting, and, and in terms of uh, your customers, what have they been saying about what you're doing? I think the customers feel we're really a natural fit for the way that they're actually embracing the cloud. We fit the DevOps model, meaning we have uh, open access to the data, automation that's as fast as their organization can move, and really supporting the speeds at which they accelerate. And then we also give them data that's actionable, meaning they don't have to go hire specialized experts or spend a lot of time digging through hard-to-read security white papers to understand how they actually remediate issues or secure their environment better than they're doing today. Fantastic. And in terms of uh, the size of an organization, is it, is it really the, the size of the organization or the dependence on the cloud that makes them a candidate for you to be a customer of yours? I think it's a little bit of both. There's a, there's a maturity model curve where small organizations and startups are really embracing the cloud heavily, and they have a lot to lose because it's their only facility where they operate their applications and services. And so they're really keen on protecting that as much as possible. And as you move into the enterprise where they're moving wor existing workloads or creating new workloads in the cloud, they tend to have much broader customer bases, much more critical data and IP to protect, and they have a security budget to back that up and invest. So we see adoption across the whole curve, but what's really different is we see the DevOps engineers really the ones making buying decisions in the small, medium business side of the house. And then when you hit a certain level of maturity, the information security teams, the CISOs, start to find ways that they can use technology to accelerate those business lines and not be intrusive like the security's legacies have really uh, been. So, uh, competitively, do you, um, do you see the, the super large software companies as the competitors, the ones with like three letters in their name? Or, or is that no. the kind of competitor that you would have? I, I don't think so. What I think is exciting is we're seeing a new breed of security company emerge around the cloud ecosystem. So, the competition isn't so much the you know, Symantec, McAfee, like incumbents that have been around forever. Their challenge is they have great investments in data center style technology that just doesn't work the same way in the cloud. And they're struggling to bridge that gap and cross the chasm. Whereas how we've developed is we've actually been a cloud first organization, meaning we're not building technology that goes back into the bare metal data center. We're just supporting the cloud and the whole cloud uh, from here on forward. So organizations that move and don't look back have something they can live with for the rest of their time. Fantastic. Uh, what's next? Anything else we should know about the future? Oh, I think we're going we're gonna to turn these up to 11 when we get to uh, the end of this year and the start of 2016. We're going to be releasing a next generation version of our platform, and we're going to be adding a whole bunch of new features and functionality that customers have been asking for. And you're really going to see how technology can change the behaviors and success of organizations doing security in the cloud. Fantastic. Thanks for being here. Hey, thanks great. for having me. Great.